Hello everybody, welcome back again to Return of the Nerd. Here we go again. Right, notebook at the ready. I've got so many points to get through again and I've got images uh, loaded up onto my screen. So this is basically a rundown of like everything that's happened this week so far with TVC and Black Series. Um, and also I'm going to be talking about, you know, not just Hasbro and collectors, but also talking about myself and the business that I run. OK, so the first thing is I want to dive into TVC this week because um, <clears throat> someone wrote a very interesting. Um, it's not an article. It's um, a post on Instagram. The person who wrote it is called Vanth, Vanth's Armory, and I'll put their uh, their link up in the description below and they actually because we had two new figures revealed to us this week one was the uh, the Kenner color Boba Fett um, which I think is going to be part of that ROTJ anniversary for next year and also we had uh, the ARC Trooper Commander Colt um, which they both look very very nice and I should definitely get a lot of them for my store I actually did a poll on my YouTube channel uh, on the community tab and uh, the winner by far was the ARC Trooper. 74% of people said that they would prefer, if they only had the choice to buy one, which one would they get? 74% said they'd buy Commander Colt, and the remaining 24% said they would grab a Boba. So there's a big difference there. Um, so let me just read this. It says, um, The announcement of the Kenner Paint... Boba Fett and Ark Trooper Colt, as well as other Ark Troopers as part of the Bring Home the Galaxy, has highlighted an issue with Hasbro's current approach to kit bashes and repaints in Star Wars the Vintage Collection. And then I'll, I'll go on to the next page. Anyone who's kept up to date with the Vintage Collection since 2018 will no doubt be aware that Hasbro have three types of hip articulation. Uh, currently operating, so these are number one, swivel hips, which is pre-TVC 2.0. And then the second one, twist and swivel ball joints, mainly seen on super articulated TVC figures released between 2018 and 2021. And then third type, barbell hips, introduced into TVC in 2021 with Bo-Katan and Quill. So I didn't know this because I've only been... Um, uh, getting into TVC quite recently over the last six months and uh, when I first started my uh, business selling the action figures I was almost a hundred percent just selling uh, black series and that was it and then I took a risk about six months ago and I thought let's dabble in 3.75 um, and kind of over the last I'd say last two months it's really taken off and now I'm getting to understand which ones are popular and which ones are not and you know which ones are repaints and which ones uh, repacks they've come out before because you know Commander Colt is not something that we haven't we've seen him before he has come out before um, and collectors are always going to use those previous releases or pre previous molds as a comparison to see whether or not they want to buy the new one is it superior or not it's a good question um, and then it goes on to say let me bring up the next one put simply there is no single standard of articulation for TVC figures. Uh, Hasbro released the new characters in TVC, such as the Art Trooper Colt, but he's released on a figure with last generation articulation, or worse, when they announce a straight repaint of figure like the ROTJ FET. But the price point is much, much higher than the original release, despite no improvements made to the figure. So that's a very, very good point. And it goes on to say, my suggestion is that Hasbro change their approach to these re-releases, introducing incremental updates to fix issues that have arisen from figures since their initial release, taking the two aforementioned, aforementioned figures as like a, a good example. So that's definitely something that TVC collectors need to take into consideration and Hasbro need to address this problem. I think that, yeah... Um, not only is there a lack of uh, new characters in the 3.75 scale, but also a lot of the um, a lot of them like are being repainted and uh, repackaged, and we've had them before. And like they're using um, it's not substandard articulation, but it's like we we already have the the more superior up to date uh, technology, the more the more superior articulation, but not using it for those figures. Why not? 
Okay, let's have a look at Commander Colt, because I personally, I think he does look nicer than the Kenner uh, Boba Fett. I'd probably, if I ha only had to choose one, I'd get him. And uh, it's not the first time that we've seen an ARC Trooper. We we've had uh, plenty of them, haven't we? We've had the uh, the three-pack with Jesse and Rex, and I can't remember who the other one was. I think it was in the Echo. Um, and also recently with the Battlefield, the video gaming greats, uh, action figures, it's, I think it's very similar, if not the same exact, uh, mold, and, uh, yeah, I like it, I especially like Colt's face sculpt, I like, he's, he's, he looks a little bit chubby in, uh, in, in, in the, in the cheeks here, and he's got that nice, he's like a skin head, he's got, he's got freshly shaven head, and that's quite good. I wouldn't mind if the, um, the skirt was not hard plastic. I would love some soft goods for that because in the Black Series, a lot of the uh, the troopers, for example, the recent Kenobi Purge Trooper had that lovely soft fabric skirt. And uh, I remember a lot of the ARC troopers like, uh, oh, Commander Bly. And uh, didn't Captain Rex also have that nice soft uh, fabric skirt as well? I think that just, just a nice little touch there. You know, it just makes me want to want makes it me want to buy even more but i'm pretty sure this guy's going to come in like it's going to be kind of like the same deal with uh the lambert seeker uh so this guy had the long rifle blaster then he had the shorter one and then he's got his two pistols that go into the he's got the little holsters here and the removable helmet i mean it's all good i do i really did do like these troopers so and it's nice that they're giving us different head sculpts for the different characters, otherwise that just wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. The new Kenner Colour Boba Fett I think will still be very popular just because he is Boba. Um, and the card back does look really, really nice. And I thought, I saw the view from the front and there was like the red tip of the rocket sticking up and I thought, oh wow, does he have like a... Uh, is it... does it fire? He's got the rocket... it's the rocket fire in Boba Fett. And then there's... Uh, I saw... The image from behind is like, oh no, it's not. But it still looks quite good. I mean, I'll definitely get one because I think a lot of collectors, even though sometimes we get, we're like, ah, here's another Boba, we still want it. It's like almost every collector that I've met is, when it comes to Boba Fest, they're completionists because <laughs> he's probably, he's probably the most popular Star Wars action figure of all time. So remaining on the theme of TBC, I opened up one of the uh, the three packs, the Kenobi three packs, and uh, I just wanted to have a look on the back of, you know, to see like what was in the set. So here's Obi Wan Kenobi. The beautiful thing is these are all unpunched, like the what was the other one, the Republic Trooper that was unpunched. I love that when they do that. On the back you've got eight there, so you've got um, actually got some uh, finally got some Andor figures coming out, right? Which is really a pet peeve. Um. You know, this next wave in the Black Series coming up has, like, half of them are Andor figures. I think there's, like, four in the wave. And we've already had four, right? So by, you know, this halfway through December, um, Andor, will, Andor the series, that's, that's already finished. It's over, right? And, and, and the Black Series, we'll, we will already be able to purchase, like, eight figures no maybe nine because also there was the uh the san diego comic-con with b2 emo as well so but with the tvc we only just got our first image of aldani and or like the other week from yak face and yet we're already on episode 10 it's like come on man pull your finger out tvc you really need to hurry up with these new characters you know i want everything to be like i always say in sync both scales and then the other the other figures are obviously we've seen we've got the mortar trooper and we've got the new Cal Kestis from Jedi Survivor. And who's at the top there? Oh yes, Luke Skywalker Mandalorian, who's also... This is good because he is in the next wave of the Black Series, the one that's coming out before Christmas. And I think that's going to be the hottest one. It's kind of like, you know that last wave we, last wave we had? The hottest figure was, um, without doubt, uh, the Darth Maul figure. Okay, so here's the Jawa. There's Tika. Looking nice, and on the back is exactly the same. All right, and then the other one is the Purge Trooper. A lot of people are buying these from me right now because I promised that because I have so many in stock, and 
some collectors don't want all three and uh, they would rather to army build some purge troopers because that's what they want to do they like the show um I, you can't blame them for that right so i said uh, yeah I'm, I'm willing to sell them individually and i had one client who bought like five of them uh they see you can see look he's got that lovely soft fabric um skirt i'm sure there's another word for it it's not a skirt but uh, you know what i mean but that would just look so much nicer than you know like the hard plastic that we got on this one i'm not saying this looks awful i mean i still think this looks fantastic but i would just i would prefer you know if it was like this right i might as well show you the jedi survivor pack as well and like i open them up so you can take a look at them individually the first one is the riot scout trooper who we just had in the gaming greats for the black series there's really not much that much difference okay and on the back you know you've only got three in that wave because it's a it's an exclusive set the next one is also the same as the black series we got the kx security droid with that backpack and electro staff okay but the one which pe which you know really uh kind of aroused interest in collectors was the magna guard because he's kind of newish isn't he uh a, a really cool uh it's like a throwback to revenge of the sith you know and uh so this one's come out already on, on 3.75 and i think it looks beautiful and he's also uh, been pipelined to come out i think next year in the black series as well so i think this will be a very, very sought after figure, the Magna Guard. Okay, so if you guys wanted to uh, buy them separately and like mix them together, you didn't want, um, you know, Tika, uh, Tibidon Station, Kenobi, and Purge Trooper. Perhaps you wanted Magna Guard. Uh, you only two Magna Guards and two Purge Troopers and one Tico or whatever the whatever you, you can mix and match I don't mind that's all part of my my customer service so you just let me know now we were just talking about Boba Fett right the uh, the new Kenner color card back and I was thinking about all the different Bobas we had this year we had so many didn't we in both scales and uh, my favorite one so far this year has to be the Morak TVC this one I think this one for me I know the price was a little high because he was a, a store exclusive, but this one I liked very, very, very much. Just my favourite. Um, and yeah, and he came out, remember, he came out as... Um, it's funny that they have different names, right? So in the Black Series, they just called him Throne Room Boba, and he was a deluxe. But in the TBC, he's called uh, Morak, right? I, I personally, I mean, I like this figure... Don't get me wrong, but the I think the car back and the picture on the car back here is more correct. And, uh, you know, it's that second season of The Mandalorian. Um, it's the one with uh, with Bill Burr in it, isn't it? And he's got the he's wearing the, the hover tank driver disguise. So that's a really good episode. I just think this is more, if I if this was on my wall, I, it would, you know, it. it, it and when I when I look at it, I think about how good that episode was. Whereas when I buy this, I don't really have that feeling. I just think the packaging is just kind of a bit meh. Right. I also did get uh, a resupply of the Dark Trooper. Here he is again with his little locker chamber, whatever you want to call that. Okay. So I got more of these up on my store. Haven't opened any yet for myself because I'm they they, they sell too quickly. I have opened this one though. Um, recently I was very curious I wanted to see what the incinerator trooper looked like with Grogu and this is absolutely awesome I love the tank on the back and the detail and the articulation is really good as well I've got him into some wicked poses recently I love this and I love like the fact that you get the, the size of that that is just really cool all these little flame effects brilliant I really wish the black series would have something like this and Grogu so cute he's got his eyes closed and he's using the force. That, that just, I was just like, oh yeah, that's good. And I and I and the, and the price point on that was like mm, not too bad. I think it's worth it with all those those extra accessories. But then I was thinking, okay, so next year we've been promised uh, Paz Vizsla, the heavy Mandalorian, and it's like just basically him with just it's just himself. There's nothing extra, you know. So I'm kind of worried about ordering that one and people then kind of resisting and not buying it 
it's because and then they'll just like kind of wait for it they'll wait for retailers to get into a very des desperate situation then they have to lower the price <laughs> i don't like it i feel it's a little bit unfair so hasbro if you're gonna have a deluxe pack you know like this you need to have a lot of stuff inside okay not just you know a single figure without any you know plastic effects or you know like with the what's the other one we had ahsoka she had a, an owl and a lantern and there's like all these little bits and pieces you've got to have that in there in order to really it's got to say to, to define this as a deluxe otherwise is, is it really a deluxe i mean you just you put it in a deluxe box but what's inside the box that is what counts for the collector Okay, so I was just talking about Luke Skywalker in The Mandalorian in that final episode in Season 2. So, looks like we're going to get a, a TBC version of him. Um, but also, like, this new upcoming wave, the final wave of the year for Black Series. He, that's just, I'm going to bring that up now. So, we've got Luke Skywalker, uh, Andor from the first arc. So, we've had three arcs in Andor's first. We've had the... Um, Ferrix that was the first arc and the second arc was Aldani and then the third arc which seems to be the most popular was the prison arc Narkina 5 um, We've got Mon Mothma, Luthan Rail, Bix, so all of those are like Like I said half of the wave Belongs to Andor the TV show that's good and then we've got the HK droid from the Mandalorian Cal Kestis from the new video game and then finally, we've got Din Djarin, uh, the same as the Mix Mayfeld character, who has the removable helmet. He's the uh, the hover, hover tank driver. So yeah, it's a good wave. Um, but again, it's kind of weird that like we have so many figures already uh, in the, the Black Series, and then we have so few in the TBC. Okay, this week also Yak Face posted on his Instagram a rumor report, and he's um listed all of the uh the code names for future figures now i don't know who they are maybe he already does maybe some people like they're more clued up than me i tell you i'm i'm, I'm a bit of a novice when it comes to the the tvc i'm still learning a lot but anyway let's have a look it's, it's got nine of them davis dayton deary donnelly dover downey driggs drummond and dubois Bois. So God knows what figures they are, I don't know, but we'll find out soon, I'm I'm pretty sure. Right, just a final word on the Black Series. Actually, in a couple of weeks' time, my store will be getting Ned B. The Delu He'll be the first deluxe uh, Black Series figure with no windows, so I'm quite curious to see what he's going to look like. I'm going to, as soon as I, I'm going to grab one for myself, open it up and do a review, and... Uh, Yes, um, definitely for sure. The first week of December, I'll be getting a ton of, of uh, Ned B. So that's really good news. Oh, just before I forget, card backs. Yes, I still have plenty of the uh, the Admiral Akbar. Okay, with the lovely uh, hologram, you know, shiny foil, whatever you want to call it, card back, bling bling. We've got this guy up on the store, and also these came in this week. The uh, the Dark Trooper, the credit collection. Da -da. And uh, immediately I was like, okay, what's this? The coin has been put in. That's that's not correct, right? So this is correct. I mean, I know it's been a little bit petty, but at least, you know, the, the factory, they could put the coin in upright. I mean, that, that, that looks much better, right? So 12 o'clock, not 3 o'clock. It's a trap! One of my friends on Instagram and actually one of my clients says... Uh, He's been on holiday recently and he took a Scarif Trooper. Always take your toys on holiday with you, yeah. And he uh, he went to the beach with the Scarif Trooper and put him in some poses. And I just thought that was really funny because of uh, the uh, that particular episode in Andor. When Andor gets arrested by the Scarif Troopers. And <laughs> he's like, a, a short trooper's work is never done. And then, uh, you know, you know. After a long day of arresting innocent people and then putting them, putting them in jail for the rest of their life, you really need to unwind and have a cocktail and, you know, and catch some rays. And uh, I just love the pictures that he sent me. <laughs> and probably the funniest Star Wars meme we had this week was from uh, Wookie Nuts. I'm sure you all know who he is. WookieNuts.com, he has a website, he's also on Instagram. On Instagram, he has, he has a different name, I can't remember. I think it's called Star Wars Photoshop. 
but on Facebook he's called Wookie Nuts and all of his uh, memes he puts it he has like a watermark at the bottom that actually says Wookie Nuts uh, I really like the Lego the Lego memes that he does so this one is um, the uh, the device that uh, the prisoners are building um, in Nakina 5 you know and he's basically got step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4 and then repeat until you are dead and I just thought this is <laughs> the most the most simple jokes are always the funniest ones <laughs> this is brilliant I just posted it everywhere so yeah thanks Wookie Nux I, 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 had a, I had a good laugh with this one so it's interesting to see what's going to happen you know with the remainder of this year there's not much time left we're, we're approaching thanksgiving which is in a couple of weeks and then we're straight into you know the holiday season christmas so we've got uh the release of ned b we've got the la the final wave of the black series tbc i don't know because it's really hard to predict their schedule um with black series i'm kind of like more kind of on the ball and i i'm like i can predict pretty pretty well like oh this one's going to come out here this month you know beginning middle or end but with tvc this it just this seems to be all over the place um yeah and then we've got we've got two more episodes of andor and then there will be um a rest period and then everybody's gonna be manic uh, you know and getting really pumped up looking forward to the bad batch the se season two which is in less than i think it's like a month and a half so it's, that's gonna be awesome it is time for a new era. Okay, everyone, don't forget to subscribe and help me out, okay? I want to reach uh, 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That was my target. And uh, if, you, if you like my videos, you can click like and share with your friends. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook as well. And you can check out my store. I'll put a link in the description below. Okay, may the force be with you. Let's get to work.